Are you a running gun photographer and you have no time to open up your laptop or you just prefer editing on your phone? Best mobile editing apps coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Dax Brule here, photographer, videographer, or you could say creator. And in this video, we're gonna quickly show you the top five editing apps that I use. So let's hop right into it. I'm gonna start with something a little different, Pixel Loop. If you've ever heard of Pixel Loop, if you ever heard of Cinemagraphs to start, Cinemagraphs are pretty much a photo, but it has a bit of movement in it. This is something that not a lot of people know about, but you search Pixel Loop and you can pretty much add life to your photos for free. It's a free app. You can get the premium version, which sometimes is better, but it's a free app. And pretty much what it does is it lets you create cinemagraphs on the go. I've used this all over on my trip to Europe. You pretty much you throw in a photo, you find something you want to make move like water, for example, but you're going to grab the brush or whatever, and you're going to point to a direction, draw a line, and it's going to pretty much move your photo. I did this for actually a really cool photo. Um, it was for a lightning strike and you can pretty much make the lightning strike move and it really adds depth to your photo. So this is something a little different I'm going to start with, but Pixel Loop, get it now, try it out. It's a great editing app. Lightroom Mobile, number two, the classic. Everyone knows Lightroom Mobile. I think this is the best photo editor if you really want to just see your photos in bulk and organize them, but also just edit your photos very quickly. You can import all your presets and you can actually sync your photos from Lightroom all the way into your Lightroom Mobile so you can see all your edits you're making on the computer or vice versa if you want to edit on your phone when you're on the go. It's a great app, uh, recommended for everyone and it's also free. Photoshop Mix, uh, Adobe Photoshop Mix, people could call it. This is pretty much for the people who like doing Photoshop, like cropping, cutting, cutting out things. I've done a bunch of creative photography where you take one image, you cut something out in one other image and you put it behind. This is always best done in Photoshop on the desktop, but some people don't have access to that. While I was in Europe for three months, I didn't bring a single computer. So all my edits were being done on the phone. Adobe Photoshop Mix is great for creating those creative edits. Here are some examples. It works super great. I recommend it to everyone if you're looking for those creative edits. Lens distortion. If you don't know this one, this one is pretty much like an overlayer. So let's say you're trying to do Photoshop again and you're trying to add flares. You're trying to add smoke effects. This is a free version that lets you add flares and create really interesting images. It's actually a very interesting app that I have actually discovered very recently that lets you add flares. So let's say you have that little sunlight and you really want to extravagant, re extravagant. You really want to pull that sunlight out. You can add a little flare to the sunlight there and it'll create an amazing effect. Super recommended. Try that now. Lens distortion. You can also add fog to create moody edits and things like that. Here are some examples. Number five, I believe, Unfold. If you don't know Unfold, it's been popping. In the influencer niche, in the in, in every niche, everyone's using Unfold nowadays, especially those film frames presets. But this is how people create those collages. So if you always see those collages where it's like a little film looking thing, or you know, if, it, if it's, it's a, a ripped paper, Sam Colder uses it a lot. This is how they create it. Use Unfold, it's free. You can buy the premium version for, I believe it's like $12. So I'm not exactly sure, but you can buy the premium version and get access to every single template. But even the free version gives you a great option for just creating collages on the go. It's effective and it really adds to your stories is what I would tell you. So like if you're trying to, you know, make a little story about uh, how your shoot went, you add it, you know, five or 10 photos into Unfold, you, you export them and then you throw them into your, into your Instagram stories, Facebook stories, and then people can kind of see the behind the scenes of how the shoot went. And finally, number six, Nevi Photo Film. So if you guys are looking for those film images, this is the one to go. This lets you add simple overlays to create your very film it, filmish, filmic, film, film Filmy, filmy effect on your photos it lets you add also light leaks and different light um, explosions of red. I use this all the time to make really stunning images and I think it really just adds that that final touch. Even if the photo is not going for a film look, you can always use this to create, you know, really good photos. So with those six apps, you guys should be able to create banging photos on the go. You don't need a laptop. Sell your laptop. No, no, don't sell your laptop. I, I think laptops and desktops are great, but these are great for if you're on the go, you're moving around, you're traveling, you don't want to bring your laptop or, you know, you're just after a shoot. You just want to see what, what the possibilities are of your shoot. That's the video. I want to ask you guys, what type of editor are you? Do you edit on the laptop? Do you edit on the phone? Let me know in the comments below. I'll answer and I'm really interested to see um, how many of you guys use this mobile strategy. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Gently, gently tap that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe for weekly videos and ring that notification bell if you want to know whenever I drop another amazing video. Creators, keep creating. See you guys in the next one.